Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. So I've already shuffled the, the deck, but I'm just going to shuffle a bit more. And um, let's see what messages are coming through for this week. So I feel drawn to pull four cards and I will be doing that. And as always, I just go with my intuition and I trust whatever comes. Maybe there is a message for you in that. Okay, so the first card we have is sacrifice. Is the sacrifice card. And if I'm not wrong, uh, this is the hanged man in a traditional tarot. But let me see what messages I'm getting from this particular card. With this card, what I'm getting is that you have a choice that's what i'm getting is you have a choice and what i'm drawn to with this card is that if you notice she's in this murky waters okay and then there is this rainbow coming out from her crown chakra so what i'm getting is that you have a choice either to focus on what's not working for you and keep keep yourself stuck there or to shift your perspective and rise out of this so clearly that's what I'm getting with this card okay now if you choose if you choose to focus on the positive if you choose to focus on uh, the blessings because we all go through difficult times it's like what you make out of those times that matters so if you choose to change your perspective, do you see the flowers in the background? It's like there are opportunities for you. There are things that you were not even aware of before, okay? If you, cho if you choose to learn the lessons, if you choose to rise above those challenges and look at them from a different perspective, I also like the fact that she's wearing a white dress and white to me symbolizes purity and innocence. So it's like she is in this murky water, but she doesn't have to like stay in it or she doesn't have to focus on that. And, you know, we all go through life challenges. It's like what we make out of those challenges. How do we rise above them? And the rainbow tells me that there are new beginnings for you. There are new opportunities for you provided. You take those opportunities, you change your perspective, and you look at things from a different point of view. So that's what I'm getting with this particular card. And let's move on to the next card and let's see you know, how the story kind of reveals itself. Okay, interestingly, the next card we have is the Spiritual Union card. Now, this is um, the Two of Cups in uh, the traditional tarot. And uh, this is a very beautiful card. As you can see, like these two people are completely in sync with their mind, body, spirit, okay? So this is like a spiritual union in the sense that spirit brings two people together for a higher purpose. Now, it could be that, you know, if you have a question about a particular person in mind, that if this is, this person is your soulmate, then the answer to this would be a yes, absolutely yes. This can also symbolize that the people that are coming in your life, okay, and this does not have to, like a soulmate does not always have to be like a romantic relationship, okay? Sometimes soulmates, um, and people from our soul families come into our lives for different purposes to also help us advance spiritually. So you will understand who those people are because you will connect with them. Look at the connection that they have. You know, you will connect with them. It's like you guys will have the same goals, the same ideas, the same perspective, and you guys come together for a higher purpose and we do recognize these people when they come into our lives because there is a kind of um, like a deep connection like a soul connection which goes beyond just the physical factors and look at the beautiful greens around them so this is like a lot of healing energy coming through 
if you have thrown out in the universe that you want to connect with more like-minded individuals know that you know the universe has heard your call and you will be drawing these people with those with those soul connections into your life okay that's what i'm getting with this let's move on to the next card okay the third card we have is rest and rejuvenate now somehow what i'm getting with this third card is it this is something to do with this okay this has something to do with this that's what i'm getting with this card immediately is maybe it is a decision maybe it is something that you are thinking about and you need to before taking that action you need this time out you need this time out to reassess what it is now this could be a soulmate relationship that you are contemplating about that you are thinking about and you are not sure about this person or you may have questions or whatever it is but this card clearly shows that you have to step back whatever this is you have to step back so that you can have a better understanding this is not about you know uh, with this card i always feel like this is about going within this is about soul searching and finding those answers whatever it is within you okay so i want to see what the four cards is and then look at it collectively like the four cards together all right so the this card is the shadow card shadow and to me this is about <sighs> You know, facing your fears, facing your fears and not running away from them is what is coming up with this card. Okay. And I'm not sure. I know this is a major arcana. I just want to check the book to make sure which card is this, like in the traditional tarot, the shadow. Okay. It's the moon okay so that kind of explains to me so this has to do a lot with um things that are hidden things that you are not sure of okay and things that you are afraid of because you know there there is an aspect of you that you have to face in order to move forward and this brings up a lot of fears this brings up a lot of the moon is all about you know uncertainty secrets deception so there could be a lot of things that are hidden to you this could definitely be pertaining to a relationship in question which you are not sure of and you have to step back and you have to reassess the situation and now when i look at the first card it tells me that you have been through a period of confusion through a period of uncertainty okay and being in these murky waters as to which direction do i need to go what is that i need to do okay now if this is not a relationship you can take it into uh a different perspective whatever it is for you with you know with regards to your situation but i clearly feel with this i feel especially with this two year i feel like this is a decision okay a decision that you have to make and again as you see there are two people here and there is this guy facing his shadow okay so I feel there are decisions that you have to make, whether it is love related or not, where you will have to go within, well, where you have to do some soul searching before you take any actions on that decision as to what it is that you want. And with this first card, I feel that you have been in the state of confusion, okay, where there is this not knowing and then there's this pathway where you want to take this path or you don't want to take this path what whatever it is you want to do okay but i feel with this card going back to the first card i feel that whatever this is you have come far along your journey to know what is right for you and what is that you want to do for yourself okay and for that you may have to actually you know like they say face the devil face your inner demons 
and fears in order to in order to rise above that in order to rise above that now when i look at these together that's what i'm getting with this is that sometimes we are in a situation where we have to face our fears so that because there's no other way than to face them so that we can move forward with our choices otherwise those fears can restrict us otherwise those fears can hold us back okay and this with this there could be new opportunities for you that's the other thing that's coming up but you may be afraid to take them because of the past past failures or whatever it is for you okay so i hope this resonates with you and i will be seeing you next week thank you for watching